Okay, so now we're going to be discussing insertion sort. Uh, basically, uh, it's another uh, it's just another sorting algorithm. We've studied bubble sort in the previous papers, and now we're going to be looking at another technique, which is known as insertion sort. Basically, insertion sort involves that uh, our array is logically divided into two parts. So if, for example, this is my array, we're going to divide this into two parts. One part will be considered the sorted part, and the other part will be considered the unsorted part. So by default, the, re, the, the way it goes is that the most, the leftmost element is considered as a sorted part of the array and the remaining elements are considered as the unsorted part of the array. So basically what do we do is that we take one element from the unsorted part of the array and we start comparing it with the sorted array. And we basically insert this unsorted element where it belongs in the sorted array. So that's why in a way it's called insertion sort. So we're gonna first look at the algorithm of this, and then we're gonna go through how it happens in Python, more or less the same thing. And as you can see here, this is a representation of what it looks like in the Python shell. Okay, so a sorting algorithm that revolves around the following concepts. The unsorted array is essentially divided into two parts. Again, it's logically divided, two parts. The first part is a sorted part, and the second is the unsorted part. The first element, which is the leftmost index position zero, is considered as the sorted part. The first element from the right part of the array, so by default, when I'm, I haven't done any sort of comparison yet, so the first element of my unsorted array will obviously be index position one, is selected and compared to the element on the left of it. Based on the comparison of the element, it is basically inserted into the place where it should be in a sorted array. So now, considering these rules, let's look at the algorithm. Okay, for, for this algorithm, we're gonna be using this array by the name of data. And as you can see here, it has elements in an descending order. So if we want to convert this into ascending order, so we're gonna have to do comparisons, eventually move all elements into this original position. So as you can see here, that if I wanted to sort an array in ascending order, this array is in the worst possible state. How? Because it is in completely descending, it's not even partially sorted, it is completely descending order. So this is a good example to begin with. So anyway, our algorithm looks like this. We have a, we have a outer for loop, which is, will be running from index position one to the length of data. So basically we are, we're gonna run this if we have say one, two, three, four, five. So if we have index position one and uh, we have index, we're starting from index position one all the way to index position one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we've got five elements here. So we're gonna be running this until five, one to five. So this is gonna be running five times. So, and by the way, we're gonna be using index position zero. So this basically is index position zero. So this loop is gonna be running five times. Now, what happens is that as mentioned before, my leftmost index position zero elements is considered my sorted array. And my unsorted part begins from here. So this part onwards is my unsorted array. And this part here is my sorted array. So the algorithm goes that I will be taking one element from my sorted array, uh, sorry, unsorted array, compare it with the elements in my, sort, uns, my sorted array. And if they belong here, you know, if, if for example, I, I compared nine with my 10. So obviously nine should come before 10. So what happens is that this 10 will move one place ahead and the nine will take its place. Similarly, now my nine and my 10 become part of my sorted array. As you can see here, my nine and my 10 have become my sorted array and my unsorted array begins with index position two, which is having element eight. After that, I will compare eight with 10 and then nine, obviously eight should, eight should belong before nine. So what that means is that I start moving 10 one place ahead, nine one place ahead and move eight in the place of nine. That, that's taken place and because of that, my insertion of eight will result in the sorted array looking like eight, nine, and 10. Next comparison will start with seven being the start of my unsorted array. And I will start comparing seven with 10, then nine, then eight. Now, since I have reached a position in which set is no longer, you know, uh, it's the smallest possible position, in which case I will shift all of these elements in my sorted array one place ahead and make room for my 
seventh element. Finally, I have my sixth element right here, which is my final element right here, in which case I'll start comparing it with each of these elements. And after the comparison of all elements, six will belong at the start of my array. And this is after all of these comparisons. This is my what my sorted array looks like. Okay, by the way, this last line that's printed here, this is just this, this is the result of this instruction over here. So this is not another iteration. Actually, my loop just ended over here. So this is just another, uh, uh, I'm just printing the final result. So this line that is outside of all of the algorithm, outside of all of the loops, this is, this is the result. This printing is the result of this line. So it's not actually part of the process. I'm just printing the final result. Now let's look at the algorithm here. So my loop, my outer loop, is basically a for loop and it starts from index position one because I'm, I'm only considering my uh, unsorted array right now. So since my index position zero is considered as a sorted array, I'm all only worried about my index position one onwards, which is by logically divided as my unsorted part. So my loop will begin from unsorted array to the length of my data. So basically it will run all the way to uh, five times it will run to index position five. So basically, what happens here is that I will take my now my in, my index is my counter and my index is pointing towards one. So this is my array's name, and I'm basically taking my element that is stored in the data array index position one, which is by the way nine, and I will consider it to be I'm calling it to be inserted. So basically in my variable to be inserted, I have stored the in value that is currently stored in my index position one, which is nine. Afterwards, I have another variable called sorted and I will be considering that sorted uh, element, my sorted position, by the way, this, these are pointers. So my sorted position is actually one place before my current index position. So in that case, my zeroth index position, which has the element 10 in it, is considered is the start of my sorted array. So these are the these are the uh, first steps that have to take place at in after each iteration in, in each iteration of my for loop uh, that's starting over here. So at the start of my for loop, this is what's happening here. Now, there we had after this, these two steps of my first of iteration in my for loop, I have a nested loop which is basically a preconditioned loop. Now the preconditioned loop will continue as long as this condition is true. Now what this condition is say, states is that as long as sorted is, is greater than equal to zero, this loop will keep on going. So now let's try to understand what this means. Again, I repeat that this sorted variable, it is basically pointing towards an index position. So as long as this condition is true, my loop will keep on going. So let's check out what's happening over here. Okay, inside, if right now, as you can see here, if my index position is right now one, my sorted is zero. And this condition says that as long as sorted is greater than equal to zero, my loop will begin. So this, since sorted is zero, and this condition states sorted is greater than equal to zero, that means this condition is currently true and I will enter this loop. <coughs> so now I'm entering this loop. Let's see what's happening here. If to be inserted, by the way, right now to be inserted has the value nine in it, as you can state here. Now, if to be inserted is less than the value stored at index position sorted of the array data, by the way, this has currently 10 in it. As you can see here, sorted is index position zero and data index position zero has 10 in it. So if to be inserted, which is nine, is lesser than 10, which it is. And what we do is that we move that sorted element, that sorted element, which is 10, into one place ahead, which is sorted plus one. So we're basically shifting this 10th place, this 10th element, this 10th element, one place ahead. So before this 10th, uh, this number 10 was at index position zero. Now it is at index position one. And what do we do at index position zero? We will store the to be inserted value nine at index position zero. So basically after this first loop, what we did here is that this is my original data. This is my uh, sorted data sorted. 
and this is my to be inserted as you can see here currently inserting states that which element i'm trying to insert so i am comparing my uh, to be inserted data with my to be sorted data since to be inserted if to be inserted is less than data sorted if to be inserted is less than data sorted which it is then what we do is we move this it is sorted elements one place ahead you see this 10 comes over here this 10 comes one place ahead and in place of that uh, sorted position i will add the to be inserted value so that means my nine will come over here so basically i'm swapping these values but it doesn't it's not essentially swapping you can say that i am shifting this one element i'm shifting this element one place ahead and making room for this element where it should be inserted so that's what's happening after which after this first iteration after this nine has come into the place of 10 and my 10 has moved one place ahead i'm not saying swapping again what i'm saying is that my 10 has moved one place ahead and nine has in come into the its actual place this this has taken place what i will do is i will decrement sorted so if you remembered my sorted at the start of loop was zero now my sorted has become minus one because of which if my i come over here my condition will become false and i will exit this while loop and therefore when i exit this while loop this will mean that i have run one of this for loop iteration and i will now start my for loop iteration again now one thing to note here is that if this condition is not true which means that if my to be inserted element is not actually smaller than the current uh, unsorted is my sorted element in which case i don't have to do any sort of shifting at all and i will simply move towards the next sorted element and compare my element with that and but now since uh, this was not the case here and my to be inserted element was actually smaller than my currently inserted element uh, of my currently sorted element in which case i will do any, some swapping if this was not the case I will simply ignore it. I will not do any shifting and move on to the second, uh, the next sorted element and do a comparison there. And I will do these comparisons until my sorted has become minus one. Now, straight off the bat, if since I was starting of my first iteration, my sorted was already zero. And after this first comparison, I did have to do some shifting. I did that shifting. And after that shifting, now my sorted has dec decremented pointing towards minus one after which i will come back to check this condition this condition is now false i will exit this while loop since i've exited this while loop this for loop body has terminated and now i will start my next iteration for my for loop considering the fact that my index position will now be two so in that case now my index position two which has element number eight in it will be to be inserted as you can see here my element number eight is now to be inserted so again, I will compare it with my to be inserted is here. My sorted now, my sorted starts from index position one. So that means my currently, my sorted array before, this was my start of my sorted array. Now, after the second iteration, this is the start of my sorted array. As you can see here, my sorted starts from one position before my inserted element. So in this case, again, I will be starting comparison with the value 10. So index position two, minus one so my sorted array starts from index position one so as long as my sorted array is greater than or equal to zero i will start comparison so what i do is first i will compare my eight with my sorted element which is 10 if the comparison takes needs if i the comparison results to be true meaning it is less than 10 in which case i will do is what i will compare i will move my 10 to one place ahead and i will move my to be inserted into the place of 10 and i will decrement my sorted now my sorted has become zero is my condition true yes now i will come back here and i will now this time compare now remember that my sorted has become zero in which case now i'm comparing eight with my value nine which is at the start right now which has in the index position zero by the way eight is less than nine in which case my nine has to move one place ahead in which case my nine will move one place ahead moving towards the index position one and my sorted my sorry to be inserted will come into place of my sorted element and now i will decrement my sorted again my sorted will become minus uh, minus one this condition will become false and this while loop has end now let's check out this condition over here so if my loop 
if my current stat after the first time I did any any sort of inserting, now I'm trying to insert uh, eight here. So what happens here? that this is to be inserted and this is my start of the array as you can notice here this is index position one this is index position zero so first of all i will start comparison with this so what it states here is that i if this is lesser than this if to be inserted is lesser than my sorted then what i do here is that i will my sorted plus one which is this position will now hold my sorted element so notice here that my 10 will move here so as you can see here, my 10 moved here. My 10 moved one place ahead. And in place of my 10, I have entered in place of my sorted and my 10, I have answered eight. So notice that my 10 has now, my eight has come in the place of 10. So this is what happens in the first iteration of this while loop, this change takes place that my sorted element moved to sorted plus one and my to be inserted comes into the place of my sorted element after which my sorted has decremented in which case now my sorted array starts over here and then i will be starting comparing to my eight with my sorted element nine now as you can see here eight is lesser than nine in which case my nine will come into sorted plus one right here and my sorted plus one which originally had eight in it you notice that sorted plus one had eight in it now my nine will come into sorted plus one and into place of my sorted i will add my two be inserted and eight comes in here after which my sorted will decrement which will become minus one and my while loop will exit and therefore i will start in my second for loop. now this will continue for the duration of this entire for loop and as you can see here eventually when i move towards seven let's see now my seven is my to be inserted this is my start sorted array this is my to be inserted now what happens here is that i will compare my seven with my sorted element since it's lesser sorted will move to sorted plus one to be inserted will come into place of sorted sorted will be decremented now my this is my start sorted array you see here this is my sorted array seven is now being compared with nine is it uh, greater yes it is my sorted will move to sorted plus one to be inserted will come in place of sorted as you can see here sorted decrements now my sorted starts at index position zero is my to be inserted greater than sorted yes sorted becomes one uh, sorted moves to sorted plus one to be inserted comes into place of sorted and my sorted be my decrements so now at after this swapping my sorted has become minus one and another while loop a uh, cycle has ended and this time i will be incrementing my for loop and finally i will be inserting the last element in which case that is six and as you can see here my six is to be inserted my sorted become comes at index position minus one which is here right here so this is my sort my sorted array starts here is six lesser than sorted yes sorted plus one will have 10 my to be inserted will come into place of six like so my sorted decrements my sorted starts over here now six will com be comparing with uh, what you call it uh, the sorted element in which case my sorted six is lesser than my sorted sorted will come to sorted plus one to be inserted will come into place of sorted sorted decrements again now my sorted starts at index position six again comparison will result in this shifting over here to be inserting come over here sorted decrements now, now my sorted starts at zero comparison will yield this as also condition true sorted will move to sorted plus one and inserted comes to sorted after this comparison sorted is decremented and while loop condition becomes false and i will exit this loop as i mentioned before this final printing of this array is result of this being printed outside of all of the loops please don't consider this part of any iteration this is the end of this uh, whole process over here and finally if you look at this this was my pseudo algorithm and this is what it looks like when i am doing it in python so as you can see here there's not much difference uh, my insertion sort uh, module has this data array as mentioned before is the same exact same data there's no particular difference this is how you find it array in python uh, i just have a prompt here original data printed in its original form as always, we had a loop here for index one to length, for index in range one to the length of data, exactly same method here. This loop is gonna run how many times till index position, index position, how 
how many is going to be the last iteration will be till four so basically uh, the, uh, the value five will not be part as we remember the length function uh, range function only returns uh, uh, starting from zero if, if we have range five in it so it means that only till zero to four five it will run only five times so if my length of data is five so this loop will run from index position one to four so as you can see here one two four so only there are four iterations that four times this loop is running okay finally anyway inside this loop as you can see here the same process here my index position starts at what one index position one will be to be inserted exact same method the only difference you can see here is the assignment operator it varies from pseudocode versus python python will use equal sign and after that i am using these prompts and just showing what element is being inserted in that case i'm decrementing sorted as we did before and i'm simply printing the index at the time the type of the loop that see index position one two three four so every time my loop starts every time my for loop starts and my while loop before my while loop starts i'm just printing the index at that moment so I'm starting with index position one, then two, then three, then four, so on and so forth. And inside the while loop, exact same procedure, only the difference is that, uh, in fact, there is no syntax difference whatsoever here. So it looks exactly like the pseudo code. And after the entire uh, sequence, I'm simply printing the finalized value. 